Hello, everyone. We are going to continue our exploration of how to sustain your voice throughout the day without tension. So in the last video, we focused on finding the neutral position of the pelvis and freeing up the voice that way. But today, we're going to talk about the position of your head or your skull and how it can drastically affect your voice. <laughs> so me personally, this is the chair and the table that I sit at most of the day while I work. Um, and I'm either like typing on the computer or talking on a Zoom call. Um, and in both of these activities, typing or talking on a Zoom call, uh, I have bad habits. <laughs> my bad habits can be a little bit different, but both of them restrict my voice and cause me to lose steam. So let me show you what I mean. So when I'm typing, I'm typically like leaning forward when I work. So my head is feeling heavier and my neck is craned forward towards the screen like this. <laughs> um, or if I'm talking or listening um, on a Zoom call or like watching a YouTube video, I'm usually doing some form of like leaning forward onto the table or even uh, resting my head in my hand, like my chin on my hand. Um, and this is the more forward head position. Conversely, if I am like more relaxed or uh, just kind of passively listening, usually I'll like lean back against the back of the chair, but automatically you can see what happens to my head as I go back, my body goes back, my head goes back and my chin tucks down. So both of the bad habits, if you will, like leaning forward and tucking chin going back, um, let's unpack a little bit like what we can do to correct them. So if you don't have a seat, grab one and let's get into it. Um, so for freeing up the voice and remo reducing the amount of effort that it takes to speak, what we want to be focusing on again is trying to find the neutral position of the skull or the head, just like we found that neutral position of the pelvis. So let's play with it a little bit. We're gonna use the sound E again as the window into our voice. So I want you to hold out the sound E as you move your head forward and see how that affects the sound. You're not gonna move your shoulders or your body, just your head, just your neck there. So, e e Okay, let's see what happens when we go back. E E So forward E It kind of um like thins out and sounds a little bit more strained. And whenever <clears throat> when that happens, it means I have to use more effort to maintain the clarity of the sounds um, and get it clear again. Uh, but when I go back, e it dampens the sound and like thickens it and adds some more bassy tones to it. So it's almost like a compressed sound, which means that I have to significantly um, either like raise my pitch to get out of it or increase my air. Um, all of that to say, there may be some of you who when you're moving forward and backwards through this range with me now, aren't actually hearing a big difference in the way that it sounds. Like it, you can do e and maintain relatively like the same tone or clarity. Um, and it doesn't change too much, but that doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. Quite the opposite actually. Uh, it means that you're compensating. So you're using some other structure or like function of your voice to maintain the clarity. Um, you're making other micro adjustments so that it doesn't affect the sound whenever you move, which is, you know, that's actually wonderful. It's all well and good for a little bit, but what happens when you're talking for like 10 minutes or the entire day? <laughs> um, that extra amount of effort that it takes to maintain that clarity in that non-neutral position um, is going to uh, greatly decrease the amount of time that you can maintain talking without tension and nice and free. So though we are using the E sound to find what's going on with the voice, 
what we're really monitoring here isn't so much the quality of the tone, because as we just discussed, you can try to maintain that. It's more of the effort it takes to produce it. So alignment, and more accurately, neutral alignment, is all about reducing the effort that it takes to voice. And that is what will reduce your fatigue and any strain um, or tension to keep your 5 p.m. voice sounding like your 9 a.m. voice. <laughs> so in the comments, I want you to put, are you more of like um, a leaner, like a neck forward, stretch forward individual, or are you somebody who tends to work or uh, relax more in this backwards position with a, with like a tucked chin under? Um, yeah, which one are you? I'm definitely more of a leaner, as I said earlier. So if you found this useful, feel free to invite anyone you think may benefit from these weekly voice tips. And if it wasn't clear to you, finding that neutral position between E where everything feels free and easy is where you wanna to try to maintain whenever you're communicating throughout your day. Um, so if you would like to move faster or in a more intentional way, <laughs> um, you can reach out to me via messenger and we can chat and see if there's any of my offerings that might be useful for you. Um, and if not, I'll try to refer you to resources that can. Cool, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I see somebody's here. Hi, Gail, more middle. Okay, great, so if you're already in a neutral position, then take a look at the pelvis, make sure that's neutral as well, and then you'll free up that voice. We've talked about pelvis and skull so far, um, but I mean, maybe it's obvious all of your body parts <laughs> can have a contribution to freeing up your voice. So there's a shoulder piece, which we'll talk about next as well. Um, yeah, see you next time.